Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the blockchain, blockchain Ethereum tutorial part 6. And this part is in a continuation of a part 5 where we have, where we have, where we have, uh, where we have, you know, seen that how we can deploy the contract within a Truffle framework over the inbuilt test network provided by the Truffle. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna, you know, explain in more detail about the various steps which we follow. And I think the most important part is you know the migration and the migrate command which we had used in that right <coughs> so just to sh quickly uh, see the demo so the truffle develop we know that I mean if we want to get inside the truffle framework what we have to do what we have to do is wherever we have our project I just created our project here and we can just go inside this okay by doing that and then I can use this truffle develop command to get inside the okay so this so let me just quickly close this window because i have already done it okay so we are inside it means that we are inside you know the uh, truffle framework so what we had seen uh we you what we had seen in the previous video we have seen the migrate command so what it does is let me quickly do that for you see uh so what it does is see uh, this time it is showing that the network is up to date so it means whatever the migration is created in the contract we have in our project those has already been deployed over the network right so what we had done sorry in contract we just deploy this sample contract and this migration contract is the default contract which we got by the triple framework when we run our triple init command right that that i have explained in my video right so in this video what we're gonna see is uh, these are the same symbol, uh, you know, some uh, contract which I have already opened, so don't worry about them. Uh, so the, this is the uh, contract, the migration contract. So no need to worry about the solidity concept, but you have to understand what exactly happening within this contract. So actually, the Truffle framework, <coughs> sorry, utilize this contract to just keep a track of it, what all migration has been done. So through this contract only, it just keep a track of it, right? So in this solidity contract, we have two comp two functions: set completed and upgrade. Okay. And in this upgrade, what we are doing is we are calling the set completed, and what it is doing, it is just setting you know the field this last completed migration. And what it is, it is a public variable at the contract level, so it is just a state variable. So it will define the state of the, the state of you know the contract. Okay. So this through this i'll explain you how we can utilize this feature to see what has been deployed over the network we will see uh, in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming section so since you know all the migration script all the contract which we have in our project has been already deployed but suppose if we are creating a new contract <coughs> and we want to deploy them over the network so what we are supposed to do the very first thing which we are supposed to do is to just copy the contract which you have developed okay for example i have this contract i'm just going to cover you know one complicated or not complicated but a little bit of advanced topic of the migration so these are the two comp contracts so what it is doing uh, so so you will see this metacoin dot solution it is just importing this convert dot lib solution so it's just a simple way in an object of object oriented program or any other programming language if you want to call any other class or a program what you do i mean it depends upon the syntax of each and every programming language here in a solidity you can easily import it right and in the convert name what it is having it is having only a one function maybe this metacoin will be used or not maybe but it's ex actually using this right so don't worry about the functionality of these contracts i just downloaded over the network from the internet and you can also do that right <coughs> so no need to worry about that the another thing the important thing which we are targeting to cover in this video is the migration process so how are we going to do a migration so in the truffle framework what what this migration process is actually uh, as i mentioned that you know the the truffle framework use this migration contract to just keep a track of it you know what all contracts have been deployed and when you use the migrate command it's check what is the state of you know the migration contract and based on that it decide whether you know any new contract is you know copied over the contract folder the, any new script has been you know created or any 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 existing script has been you know uh, modified or not right so that is how you know 
Truffle used this migration contract to keep a track of it, right? And it's all also, you know, ease down the process of, you know, the tester or the developer to just keep a track what has been done, what not, right? So, so we have, you know, copied those two contracts and we are expecting that these two contracts should also be, you know, deployed over the network. So let me quickly just copy this. This is the migration script which I created. And the another important part, uh, whenever you are creating this migration script, you have to keep a track of, you know, see, the first one is the one initial, this number is pretty important because that is how, you know, this is migration solution contract actually uh, use this and it's also, you know, ease down the process. You can easily keep a track of it in this sequence you have, you created your migration script, right? And the, the recommended way is the starting with any numbers, it should be sequential. It's, it should be in sequence. Then the then the num, then the name of the, you know the contact that is what I follow and and underscore the migration. So that is the strict minded and the standard way so that you can easily keep a track of it. What exactly you had done so far with the network, right? So what it is doing? Let me just quickly open this and let me explain you what all these things are, right? So the very first command here is the artifact dot require, right? So what it does is pretty similar to the require of the JavaScript concept. So if you want to import any module functionality within a Node.js or JavaScript, what you do is you require, you import it basically that module and then you are just uh, storing that module within this variable and through this variable you can start utilizing your whatever your feature that particular module is providing you. But here, uh, it is using the same concept so we have a contract here you know so those contract has to be the has to be you know we need to we need to have that you know the contract contained within our variable so that is how so artifacts requires nothing but it's pretty similar to just calling the content of the smart contract that is how you can understand so convertible lib and that meta coin okay so convertible lib is you know the contract which is being called which is being imported within this meta coin so i have just created two different variables for both these two contracts then the module export it is just for exposing the functionality to the outside world right this is just again a javascript concept then you are creating a function and you are passing the very first very first the keyword is deployer which is nothing but you know the again a object which contains a lot of functionality which we are going to see right in the previous video we see that deployer dot deploy is just convertible lib means it is deploying you know the convertible lib contract over the network then this is the feature now and we are what we are doing we are linking this convertible lib with the meta coin we are just linking we are just creating a linking between you know two contracts and one contract is just importing the another one, right? Then eventually I'm just deploying this contract, MetaCoin, right? So this is what the flow is. Okay, so that is how you can do it. Now, let me quickly go to the command line and show you what happens if I just use the migrate command again. Now, it's again up to date, right? So it's not picking that up because maybe uh, the reason could be uh, I have to again uh, open the new and then I have to use migrate reset I it seems like I have oh <laughs> you can see this I just use the migrate without getting inside the truffle framework so what you can do is you can go to the truffle develop or you can directly write truffle migrate reset that also you can do right so either ways whatever you want right so that's fine let me just quickly close that okay so now uh, we are inside the truffle framework migrate reset let's see what happens now earlier when we ran that migrate oh something is happening okay so it took the first initial migration js it's fine then it took the second one again this is fine that is what we are expecting now we can see the three convert this okay so so this is how, this is what happens when you use this migrate reset. Migrate reset is a way to just reset your blockchain in your initial stage, okay? So previously, if I use the migrate command again, let's see what happens. Now it will, it will say network is up to date. It means we have whatever the migration script we have, whatever the contracts we have in our contract folder, those have already been deployed over the network and there is no changes from the previous state when you just migrated that, right? So this is what, you know, the migration and there are a lot of concepts within a migration. Maybe that requires, you know, the another video for me to just cover a lot of functionality. But for now, I think this is enough for this video. Maybe if you have any feedback or question or suggestion, please feel free to put that in a comment section. And 
till, till until the next video uh, keep learning stay tuned thank you